Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Iori Folai. And um, it's not news anymore, but we shall comment on it, we shall look at it, and we shall take your inputs into the whole matter. Emefiele returns, Governor of Central Bank uh, Godwin Emefiele returns for a second five-year term. In fact, um, it's written in the papers that um, it's the longest, the way it's going, it's the longest NACBN governor has served since 1999. There are governors who have served longer, uh, but we're talking about since uh, 1999. Yeah. Um, and um, I guess this morning, Mr. Ade uh, Mr. Adeni Ikunu is researcher and public affairs analyst. Yeah, thank, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you, Yuri. It's Indeed, and uh, yeah. Mr. Demola Adigoke, a communications expert. Thank you very much. Good morning, for yes, at all. Indeed, good morning. Yeah. Um, but, well, the, the man, Godwin Amethyele, um, he, he's, he's been through quite turbulent times in the, in, in the bank. Uh, major things happened under his watch. Um, there, was a, there was the whole recession thing that yeah. had to be full, you know, <coughs> center, addressing his attention. And, um, uh, well, generally speaking, the, the fact that he's been reappointed, suggested, you know, uh, presented for reappointment, does show that um, the government is quite happy with the way things are going. Um, <laughs> well, I have to So, so yeah. okay. Well, well, it must be said that um, we look at the side of the law first before we talk about the issues surrounding Emefiele. Mm -hmm. As the president acted within the provisions of the law, yes. Um, does Emefiele reflect the kind of um, team mate that the president expects? I think to an extent, yes. Let's look at what the president himself has said. There was something he said early this year. Uh, there was something he also said late last year about the fact that the future is not going to be rosy. Not rosy, my word, and I'm paraphrasing him. Mm. Mm. And that people should actually tighten up. What a myth is. You're talking about the president or a myth? I'm talking about the president. Of, now. Oh, okay, the now, president. Now. Oftentimes, when you reflect a position that actually you know, consolidates what your appointer said, mm. definitely you really are on the same page as himself. Um, if, if you did a careful analysis, Yori, of a myth, he appears to me somebody who listens to a superior and toes the line that has been given for directive. And basically, if you look at it, the president mentioned about two and a half years ago, uh, well, about, let me say two years ago, that well, when he came on board, obviously he would have removed him if he wanted to, but he said, this man, you brought us to our knees economically. You're going to take us out. You'll remain there. And perhaps the president felt in redeeming himself, he's been able to do one, two, three things that appears favorable to what he wants, and maybe there are other things happening behind that we perhaps don't understand. As a result of that, take another five years, put it in the kitty. Um, uh, well, interesting. Huh? <laughs> 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 a very interesting <laughs> summary. Mm. That's your take mm. on, on mm. the matter. Mm. Uh, what do you think, Imola? Um, uh, it, uh, the, the, the way that I didn't even phrase it. <laughs> no, no, but the the way he I, I, phrased it. For, for me, I want to look at it from two angles. Sure. You see, the politics of it and the merit of it. Okay, good. You, you understand? Talking about the politics of it, you, we, we all know that before now, the president has been more to lampooned, you know, about his appointments, lacking in national how to look. And, um, you know, perhaps this is one appointment that the president is um, usually is trying to use to emphasize, you know, that, well, all I care is about competence. It's not necessarily that maybe even those other, you know, uh, appointments were purely based on competence. And you will, you will now see that even the most belligerent, the most vociferous of president's critics have been applauding this decision. I mean, one of, one of them is um, um, Reno Mokiri. You know, since, you know, this president uh, came into office, he had never seen anything good in the but this very one he, he come you know he, he commended he applauded and said oh it, it shows that the president is listening so when you look at the politics of it well, well, <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> staying on that theme very ever so slightly <laughs> um uh, <laughs> governor mefile well uh, cbn governor mefile was appointed not by president uh, no 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 I'm, I'm, I'm coming uh, to that I'm by, coming, by, 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 by president jonathan i'm coming to that i'm yeah, coming no. to that so when uh, you said uh, reno mefile you know was uh, you know he was uh, applauding uh, uh, 
Well, uh, well, well, you, you know. have expected uh, such uh, applause. But uh, expected. Uh, I, I have used him as just only one, just okay. one of the critics. Sure. One of the critics, you, you understand. Um, yes, because the president, even by even by that fact of um, Emefele having been appointed by um, Jonathan, it then shows that, like I said, the president is, you know, maybe using this to say, well, I, I, I can rise above, you know, partisanship. When it comes to maybe you understand, and you, yeah, but you ha, well, it's interesting the way. Uh, and, uh, and thank you very much, gentlemen, uh, for uh, opening uh, up like this. Yeah. But, um, how about the straightforward, ordinary merit? And uh, the you know, I have not come to the merit, merit. of it. Uh, you know, I've disappointment. Said, I've said, you know, we look at the politics of but, it, but you and we are... look at the merit of it. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> maybe maybe I begin to rub in certain things that we could describe as merit. Merit. Um, Nigeria's. Um, Savings. You want to rub them in. I get the impression that you're not too happy with disappointment. If you're if you're looking for a way to rub in some of the things yeah. that may be considered as merit, uh, it's not the most enthusiastic endorsement. No, no, no. no. Let, let me say this. Mm -hmm. For us to do a holistic assessment of a mefele, mm -hmm. I don't have to be sad or happy about the appointment. It doesn't <laughs> have to influence my emotions. Mm -hmm. But the reality no. is what we must put on the cards here. Mm -hmm. okay. If we check a mefele, since the president came to the saddle, this country was not in recession when this administration took over. So um, you'd find out that if we did an analysis of the pre-Buhari administration, certain financial indiscretions perhaps happened mm -hmm. that brought us to our knees. Yeah. So the template for recession perhaps was, was prepared so sorry, was by Emefele and his appointer. Yeah. Now we come to the Buhari administration the reality of the blueprints of their financial, perhaps, recklessness during the last administration came to our faces now, and we went into recession. So Emefele did what he did a lot with getting us through the murky water and the mm -hmm. big style of fiscal financial impropriety. So what happens to us? We got out of it, technically, according to the Minister of Information and Culture, Alajilai Mohammed. Because since he said we technically got out of it, he has not been back to say we have indeed been out healthily. So I hold on to the technical exit so of the recession. Or wasn't it a, ma a major achievement? It, 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 no, no, you can't say it's a major achievement because you need not to go into recession if your fiscal policies and strategies were up top notch. So okay, we, we're we, going to come back and okay. you know, we, we've got to look at, um, we, we take a report yes, to please. give us further background. Okay, well, good. Then we come back, continue with this, and essentially, we want to hear from home a lot because this is that's why we've given ourselves it's this okay. time to first of all sort of set the scene it's, it's okay. and then we'll take calls from home. But in the meantime, this report. that the nominee has performed credi credibly in his first tenor, which resulted to the exit of the nation out of economic recession, going by the nominee's character, banking experience, vast economic knowledge, and performance in his first tenor, he is qualified for the position of the governor of the central bank. During the 2016 recession, Mr. Mefile oversaw the recovery growth process of the economy. Nigeria exited recession in the second quarter of 2017, and inflation dropped to 12.5% in April 2018 from a high of 18.72% in January 2016. As of the last quarter 2018, the Nigerian economy grew at 2.38%, with inflation dropping for the third consecutive month to 11.25%. The CBN had also, in June 2015, excluded 41 items from being imported with forex accessed from the official forex market. This has increased patronage for local goods and stimulated local production significantly. Under Mr. Imefile, activities of bureau de charge operators have been brought under control to check the excesses by some of the members, which reportedly led to the continued depreciation of the Naira over the years. The stability of exchange rates in recent months appear to have improved foreign reserves despite slowing flow foreign capital flows into the Nigerian economy. 
the CBN has also been actively involved in its periodic OMO interventions through which it mopped up excess liquidity to curtail inflation and boost investors' confidence in Nigeria's fixed income securities such as treasury bills and bonds. The efforts of Emefile CBN have not gone unnoticed. He has received several awards at home and abroad. The one that stands out was the 2017 Best Africa Achievement Award given to him by Forbes in Washington, D.C., United States of America. Forbes Emerging Markets honors a person whose achievements falls within the mission of the organization, which is to promote further investment in Africa by United States investors. The only other Nigerian who had received the award is Aliko Dangote. Okay then. Um, so a, a summary, as yeah, it were. Yeah. You know, so yeah. so, so, so I, I was talking about assessing <clears throat> Emefele. I believe very strongly that if you move from a school to another, maybe your parents moved away from where you were to another place. So you could have GSS 1 to 3 somewhere. You have SS 1 to 3 at another place. Uh, you may want to look at the exams, but first you look at the opportunities you have to run the whole course at the place. So as much as many Nigerians are happy, and I'm not sad either, in respect of a Mayfield's appointment, I believe that proper assessment of what it can do on a clean slate will be when it begins a new tenure, second week of June of 2019. But that said, uh, we're happy that foreign reserves have grown. Mm -hmm. We're happy that we're technically out of recession. Mm -hmm. We're also happy that um, the commodity price has been back and forth. So we hope mm -hmm. that the 11.37 or 2 some, something percent inflation rate mm -hmm. can be tackled, um, maybe in the next one year, maybe the next six months. But essentially would be what will a Mayfield do with the five years that they've given to him and that is cooling in the bank. Mm. Well, mm. yes, um, um, like, you know, I was talking about the merit of uh, his of appointment. Um, one thing that it has done, you know, just like... Let oh. me stop, which must surely be the fact that he's had hands-on experience in the last four years. Yeah. Uh, Go, yeah, I mean, uh, four or uh, five years. Yeah, of, going course, in. of course, you know, we're talking about, you know, a restoration of investors' confidence, you know, in the economy. So, because one thing... That <clears throat> one thing that is capable of threatening that is monetary policy instability. That's true. And now that we have the same man, we know that the man that ran, you know, the the, the economy that managed the economy mm. uh, in the past four years, is that five years, is still going to have it. So it it, it goes a long it's way sort of in way. restoring, yeah. you know, investors. Which yeah. we, we were talking of uh, drawing FDIs, mm -hmm. and you know, this is one uh, foreign direct investment. I think this is one move that, you know, may give a Philip to that. Uh, good morning, Mr. George. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you for calling in. Uncle Yori, uh, MFL is lucky because the president did not have to consult people like me before appointing him. <laughs> I would have said no. Why, <laughs> Uncle Yori? This is the man that opened our treasury to the looters of this country and we are yet to recover from it. This is the question of whether uh, spread of appointment. I'm not able to buy it, because there are other credible people from the same area like him. People like Pat Informe, people like Obi Executive, who have credible credentials for this appointment. They are from that area too. Uncle Yori, if you look at the bank, you see that the commercial banks are milking up dry under the watch of MFLA. Before him, Sanusi came, abolished several uh, unscrupulous charges by banks. He came to restore them. People were paying for it, and uh, people who were not paying for ATM charges, which is already incorporated in the operational surplus. But he came and restored it. Even when he said, you have to withdraw three times before you are charged. Banks don't obey, and his death is not doing anything about it. As we speak on Koyori, from what the ESCC has been telling us about their revelations, billions are in banks that are not in any account, where users are hiding money. The CBN officials are aware of it, and the governor cannot claim that he does not know about it. If the CBN says this money must be found, and trade to the owner, I can tell you it can be done. But 
it, it has happened. It got, I mean, the president may have his reasons for reappointing him. But if I were the one to advise the president, I would tell him not to reappoint him okay. and to appoint some oh. other people. Oh. Oh, all right then, Mr. George. Thank you very much for calling in. A pretty harsh commentary, but that's yeah. that's that's the but, way. But he, but that's he the way I, that, that's and his as he said, yes, if it, the president had asked uh, me, uh, he wouldn't be uh, in office. That, but but let us also say this: um, any policy government actually puts out is essentially for the benefit of the people it leads. Mm. That is why we talk about the impact of politics. Mm. We talk about the impact of fiscal fiscal um, mm. administration, uh, administration and many other compartments of mm. governance. Mm. Now, when you talk about this predecessor doing something that people applauded um, as much as to remove unscrupulous charges when people make transactions, as you, you could laugh about it, Yori, but that thing is really something very, very important. You take those charges and you restore the charges, and it is very obvious that at times when you make transactions just once, they remove they your remove money. It. And again, the banks tell you that they are charging you for card maintenance. Do they take it with me anywhere they go? No, I hold my card. I keep my card. You take care of it from your platform. Ensure that nobody uses my card to do transactions that were not readily made by me. These are the things that would make us understand that the central bank is bringing its weight when it comes to administering commercial banks, but that is not happening. So, Well, I, well, yeah. well, well he, he, he did say, and I wonder if, if he keys into it, um, uh, well, uh, two things sort of linked together. Mm. One was that, look, um, policy, you know, mm. is our, our problem. Mm. We have policy, we can't Im implement it. Uh, we, we, we have good policies, but where we fail is with the implementation. And that this time around, policy, people who infringe against policy are not going to be Sweet. spared. Yeah. And then he said, the road ahead is tough. I guess when you look at those two, uh, do you Perhaps think they're related? Felt, uh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. uh, uh, well, well um, I don't uh, ask for saying that the, you know, the, uh, the two anyway, for mm. me, let's start with uh, those who infringe on policy. That's now they um, will not uh, get away with it. Uh, why were, well, the question should be, yeah. you know, why were they getting away with it? Because the there's that case? implication in uh -huh. the statement. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Why were they, if they were getting away with it before now, why were they getting away with it? And then we so, lead to uh, the next one, which is uh, that policy, we have good policies, uh, we'll never can implement them, seem to be his So, 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 so for me, um, saying now, I'm, I'm But also suggesting that things are going to be different. Uh, he had a meeting, he had a closed-door meeting with the president. Uh, Maybe God knows what was discussed was, there. Uh, well, well, it know, could be that, it could be that now the president, you know, the president has given him a, you know, a fresh, um, well, we were maybe, maybe a bigger stick, to, uh, hand, so to speak. So to speak uh, but but to, I must say this yeah. again, that at times people are very careful with how they move because they are told you step on. It doesn't heal. And as long as the person you step on feels the pain, yes. uh, you don't go free. Yeah. Mm. He felt perhaps if he was too harsh on those who were defaulting it, in respect it, of the policies and regulations, probably would not have gotten, not this, have gotten uh, another uh, five-year uh, term. Because many big wigs are obviously the bank directors that will sign or make comments regarding his reappointment. So he felt, I got to look away for this time. <laughs> so next time, then I get So next shot. time, maybe. That's, uh, that's uh, the well, reality. Uh, so uh, now, okay. Yori, I hear you. In the I school, you. In the school I, of I, logic, I, I, reason, and philosophy, you bring all of these things together bit by bit. Excuse me, in existential reality, you have to put the cards on the table. You deal with it as it comes. Okay, let me quickly bring in uh, Johanna. Johanna right, is calling please. in from Ikeja. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you, Thank you for calling in. Yeah. Just like the last caller said, I wish the president would have subjected this issue of the central bank governor, you know, to debate asking Nigerians like LBBT, you know, because we have people like Henry Boyo who have a passion for the Naira. You know, I remember he has been on your program and channel several years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, to be complaining about how we devalue the Naira unnecessarily. So he should have been the kind of person that Mr. President should have called, you know, contacted to ask how the Naira, you know, would be uh, revalued. But nothing like that was done. The three areas, interest rate, exchange rate, and the, and the um, uh, what, is, what is the third one? Interest rate, exchange rate, and... Maybe. Yeah, there's a third one, which I may not remember mm. now. Mm. If, you, if you try to score the central bank governor, you'll score him zero, you know, well, maybe not zero, but you won't pass him on all this. So, for me, let us just ask the central bank governor, please, 
do nothing to devalue the naira again mm. because it will cause inflation and it will not help us in the interest rate regime. Good morning. Thank you very much for calling in. I, I, I guess that's one of the mm. principal preoccupations mm. you will have, mm. holding the interest rates down. Mm. Right? I, 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 I think before now, even uh, the, the, the CBN under him um, had shown some level of independence uh, in um, talking about, you know, um, administration, I mean, the interest rate, um, uh, interest rate uh, policy. Because before now, even, you know, when the federal government wanted him, he wanted the CBN, you know, to, you know, to reduce the interest rate. You know, uh, first, um, the CBN stood its ground under Amy Feely. So um, I think, you know, I, um, he should be able, you know, uh, 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 the, the, the level of independence of action and thought that the CBN had demonstrated before now concerning that, he should still be able to, um, to continue with it. But talking I, I, about I, the... You know, I'm happy you bring that point up because, uh, um, uh, you know, Adini had a, a, an opposite point as a uh, matter of fact. Uh, like uh, the way he was reading uh, the governor is that... Um, that is a guy who, you know, sort of just you know, know uh, uh, well, uh, listens very very play. carefully uh, to, no, to, no, his, to, I, to to to, uh, to his appointer. Uh, yeah. Um, but uh, that, that uh, flies yeah, in the face no, of no, the no, independence no. that is required. Uh, 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 we, also, we, we, within before, limits. I, know, I want to limits. address. I want to Please. address uh, another issue raised by the last caller, yeah. which is um, naira stability. You know, and you know, uh, uh, or, or, or revaluing the naira as as he put it. Uh, do not let us not forget that um, when you know shortly after this administration came in, the naira you know took a flight you know beyond the beyond the roof, and then the naira was inching towards five hundred naira you know to to a dollar um, for like the past three four years uh, now. One second, please. Can I come back to you on this whole oh. foreign exchange okay. uh, aspect? Okay. Please hold your thought because okay. Yakub has been waiting. I see this is going to take okay. a bit. Okay. Uh, good morning, Yakub. Thank you for holding on. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning. And then good morning to you. Okay. Good morning to you. Uh, for me, uh, I will say uh, the, the, the governor that responded as uh, the governor of uh, Central Bank, I think he, he merits it. But uh, for taking us out of uh, recession that time, I think he did a wonderful uh, job. But I will say that if you're uh, there are some certain things that each Nigerian citizen, ordinary citizen in the street, that uh, the governor, he may feel he did not do anything to it. One, if you, if you use your HPM in any other HPM, they will charge you. They will also charge you for the message, al message alert. All sorts of charges that we Nigeria, we don't count it. 52 Naira, 52 Naira. If you did transfer so many times today, they will charge you 52 Naira. All these charging, charging, charging. If you go there, go print out of your, your statement of account. They will also charge you. And if you calculate all these 52 naira, 60 naira, 10 naira, if you calculate it at the end of the day, at the end of the month, you will know it's huge amount of money. But if you fail to do something about that, you, which I think this second time, you should be able to look into it. Because Nigerian citizens, how much we have in our account? If you go use the, uh, uh, another bank ATM, they will charge us, as, as I said earlier. And he bono because he's, he's a friend of this house. When the man came to this studio, the way the man normally enlightening us, educating us, we, we really know that he knows what he's doing. He knows this economics of a thing. But my attack is this. Now that Mr. President is reappointing this very gentleman now, Mr. President should go all out to make sure that it's a suggestion. It may work out, it may not. To go all out to bring somebody like Eri Boyo to come and head economics as a minister. Because if he head the finance minister, I think he can be able to give Nigerians what we are looking into. Thank you and God bless you. Indeed, thank you uh, very much. I, I know he was yeah, talking. Uh, please, I want to return uh, uh, to him yes, because please. I had to yes. interrupt him. And he, okay. was, he was dealing with the foreign exchange, uh, which foreign. Had, was beginning to approach 500, 500 naira, naira. Uh, yeah. to the dollar. To the dollar. And, you know, by the single move of um, listing or, or, or restricting some high terms from direct access, you know, to or imp, you know, imp, uh, importers of some items from direct ac access to foreign exchange, that has, you know, for the past three four years stabilized, okay. you know, the naira rate, mm -hmm. you, you know. So 
I think in that respect, he, I mean, we can we, okay. we can give it to him. But now you you yeah, yeah. yes, I wanted to say that in my in my readings of Henry Boyo's uh, write-ups as well as interactions with him, and one of the things I was able to to draw from that is, on no account can you have a stable and profitable economy that is yours if you continue to use another currency as you know the the unit of your transactions at the rest of it all. Mm. And that simply Hello? means Hello, even you? okay. So that simply means even if um, you have to do anything. Uh, uh, one that, moment please. Okay. Uh, 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 the the call has bled into the studio. So good morning. Hello. Who is on the line? Hello, good morning. Hel good morning. Tell us your uh, name please. Yeah. My name is Tony. I'm calling from Aba. Tony? Yeah, Tony Jin there. Okay. Tutuku. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Yeah. Please, I, I, I've been throwing up uh, the, the, uh, about a failure return. It's a, it's a welcome development. But my worry now is, uh, I love what the last caller said about the charging, charging, charging. L let me throw down my worry. Uh, I'm calling from other state, and we have been having this challenge of this network stuff, this, all this network in Nigeria, you know, you have somebody, you still you steal somebody, someone's phone, you pick, you, you get some, that, uh, there's a code you tie, they will, you, they will release to you the, the, the person's BPN, which is very, very crucial and important in diverting and transferring funds from somebody's account. This is a problem. And another one is, when you, there's some bank where you go, when you visit those banks, if you want to withdraw like uh, 60,000, they will tell you that they will be able to give you, they will be withdrawing it 10,000. Whereby they will be charging you each 10,000 10, naira. They will charge you a specific amount, each 10,000 naira. They will tell you, before you know it, you won't even know whether this bank are robbing you or you are the one robbing them. They are supposed to, they are, as, they, as, they, as, they, as they, it's in, back in, in this second journey, they are supposed to do something about it. This is it. Then, the Koro Koro brought them like robbery. Okay, it's very, very wrong. <laughs> they did that to me before you know it. All but the money in my account. Help! Please let him sit up. I love you all. I love what you guys are doing. I'm calling from Abia State. Thank, thank you, you very thank much, Tochi, you. for well, calling from Abia State. Mm -hmm. We're going to go on a quick break. We'll right. be right back. Don't go anywhere, please. Okay, okay. please. Okay, welcome back, and um, we're looking at the reappointment of CBN Governor Godwin Emet earlier, and, um, you know, looking at his achievements. And um, actually, a name that has come up is uh, another, shall we say, a Nigerian who is passionate about the Naira, talking about uh, Henry Boyo, an industrialist and an economist. What, he's a macroeconomist, I think? Yeah. And um, you, you, you yes. were going to speak you know, on that because, it, because he's also passionate about the Naira yes. and uh, Methele's job is all about the Naira. Very important. Uh, people are sort of saying that. Yes. It, I don't you, know what they expect. If you look at Nigeria ordinarily, uh, many persons will always tell you that it's convenient for them to do transactions in, in the United States dollar. Uh, and Ruboyo advised against that completely regarding the fact that whatever you do, even at the top level, even your foreign reserve, let it be in your local currency. I don't know if the Chinese people have their foreign reserves in dollar, because I know very well it has to be in RMB. It therefore means that for anything we must do or project, we have to give priority to the Naira. Even if the exchange rate doesn't favor us, let us ensure we have a consciousness of the Nairanization of our expenditures. It is very, very key. And it is with that that people take a real interest in doing things that are here. I know that there are other macro and microeconomic factors that will strengthen your currency, but when the people that live in a country have respect and value for foreign currency than theirs, then it's a problem. It's been, it's been, it's been so basically, problem. that is what I'm saying, that whatever we want to do, let's rejig the mindset of people to appreciate what is theirs okay. in basic... Um, economic activities it's, it's very important it, it, it's it's an interesting concept um mm -hmm. the workability has been what has been cause for conversation between yeah. 
uh, Mr. Henry Boyo and um, then other if you look at what specialists. He said, there was economists. something in so, uh, but, okay. uh, I have a caller in the UK. Okay. Because okay. I'm um, Ade in the UK. Thank you for holding on and good morning. Good morning. Hi, Shinsha. Uh, you're in the October of the universe. <laughs> good morning. Uh, uh, my point is this about the Fijian governor. Yes. I feel very sorry for poor people who have uh, banking experience in Nigeria. Every second I get a last from my account in Nigeria, 52 naira, 15, I don't even bother again. But what of people who their livelihood is depends on maybe they have 10,000 balance in their account? Because if you put 1 million in your account, by that you, are, you don't go to Nigeria for one year. By that you get there, all you meet is half a million. Because they will have deducted everything. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it that bad? Uh, 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 is it that bad? Yeah. Mr. Hade. Listen, listen. Uncle Hade. Last time I was in Nigeria, you can't, last year I was in you, Nigeria. Listen, I went to the ATM. Yes. I, I can only withdraw 10,000 naira. And I want, to, I want to withdraw more than that. I have to go into the bank the next day and write a check to withdraw money. Okay. This is unfair. Here, you can withdraw 300 pounds every day. Uh, here, here you can also withdraw. Here you can also withdraw one hundred and sixty thousand naira every day, depending on your bank. No, 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 no. It's not true. I don't it want is to mention uh, it. Uh, no, no, it I'm, is true. It is true. true. No, is we're, we're, we're going to talk about policy. Twenty thousand, ten thousand. You can't withdraw. That. They should say you can withdraw two hundred thousand. They should be able to do that. Okay. Please All right. Talk to the CBN governor. Oh, okay, so sir. that uh, mm -hmm. if you can do that for us, you, your, your chickens will be elevated more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Thank you very well, much for calling let's in. Say this. But, but I, I, just, yes. to, just to correct something, yes, uh, because can. different experiences, they, uh, it depends. If you if you use your ATM card, for example, he was just speaking about that, mm. in a bank that yeah. isn't yours, uh. there might be a restriction on such visitor, quote-unquote, visitor ATMs to uh, 10,000. Uh, yes, but uh, if maybe. it is in your own mother yeah, bank, so to speak, you can hand. take as you much as 150. Well, uh, uh, 150, 150, 160. Uh, 160. Uh, I even want to say this. If you use but, another... Yeah. But that experience that, that uh, Mr. Ade, when he came to the UK, mm. and when he came to Lagos so. and... Uh, uh, and it, it happened to him. It, it happened to him. It, Maybe it, he was using a different ATM. Maybe we need but to interrogate further. You know, the ATM is used. Yes. And, uh, you know, yes. Uh, because he was saying that over the in the UK, if you yeah. need it, you can get 300, yeah, uh, 300, 300 I, pounds. I think, but if you need it, you can also get 160K yes. or 150K. Yes. Yes. I think but, very strongly that when you go to another bank and it's not the ATM of that bank, oftentimes there, there are restrictions. And these things mm. happen. At times, if you want to take like 40,000 at once, it restricts you. You have to go the 10,000 right away. So I think that mm. was what happened, uh. coupled with the fact that the service may not have been very good on the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So, maybe. so there, there, is are, no there are all these variables. Yeah. And I just in case I he also am, yeah. meant that in one shot, it, just it in case he also yes, meant that, you, uh, maybe if he's saying, I don't know, if he's uh -huh, saying in the UK, one shot, in uh -huh, one shot you can uh -huh. get 300 you know, pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, or maybe in may, a whole day you can take 300 or pounds. Or maybe it's in, in a whole day you can take 300 pounds. These are matters of policy. But uh, here locally, you can get as much as 40K from your bank. In, in, in a single tranche. In a single yeah. transaction. So um, I suppose... Uh, Nigerians are very conversant with this, but if mm. you, if you, if you perhaps are a visitor, he just said that he might not be in town for mm. up to a year. Yeah. Uh, policies change, and um, you know, those so. things happen. Abe in Joburg, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. And good morning to your guest. Good yes. morning. Good morning. You. Good morning. Yes, uh, Uncle Yori, I really don't have much problem about the charges we are expressing in Nigeria because. We are also expressing the same charges in South Africa. Even as a matter of fact, the Nigeria banking industry, in terms of uh, charges, uh, Nigeria is better than South Africa. Because South Africa, if you withdraw from ATM, they charge. If you deposit money, they charge. If you, if you, if you, if you use your card, they charge for everything. Even swapping, they charge. That is fine. But my problem is, I don't really see anything new, the, the CBN. Governor wants to do that and not done in the past. I know that President Bali is trying to balance the point that uh, it makes feeling from the southeast. Left to me, I would have preferred to look for somebody else from the southeast with a new idea. One, one of the major reasons I said so is that, is that 
Nigeria is a, is a country where dollar is allowed to trend anywhere. Go to club in Nigeria, go to some market in Nigeria, you can you can use dollar to buy whatever you want to buy. It is those are the things that are clean our economy. Mm -hmm. We are not yeah. a dollar economy, we are a naira economy. But the problem is you, you go to some club in Nigeria, some people will buy champagne, they pay dollar. It's wrong. In South, in South Africa, sir, no matter how big you are, <laughs> there is no shop in South Africa, no shop I say that you can spend one dollar as a dollar currency. That money must be converted to the Around. local currency, mm. which is our land here. Yeah. Mm. You know? All right. Number two point is any current any country economy that spent are not allowed to be spent, they always have problems. If you buy something of one million naira in, in, in rand in South Africa, you will not see one million rand straight. It might be nine point nine 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 point something cent. That cent, if you don't have it, they will never give you your they will never give you your goods. If you don't have that one cent remain to purchase that goods, they will never give it to you. Those are those things that strengthen our economy. That is why if you notice our our if you notice now, our 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 exchange rate is the stable between 360, 362. It's wrong. By now, I set the naira to the dollar to have gone to like 350, 300. But nothing is moving. Mm. It's because of all these things that is causing the problem. That's why I wish the president can really look for somebody with a brand new idea. There's nothing new is going to, going to bring to the mm. table again, but all the best. Thank uh -oh. you, sir. Well, thank you very much uh, for calling mm. in from uh, Joe Berg. Um, but but uh, on, on that uh, on, mm. on the point that he made about um, dollars being in yeah, uh, being cur in, in currency yeah, here locally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, maybe at a time, especially in the real estate sector, mm. uh, it, it got to a stage where they were denominating prices uh, yeah, in, in, in dollars. Dollar. Uh, but mm. a government stepped in and made it. it it's it's illegal. Uh, so I'm surprised uh, when he said that actually. Uh, as simply as in some clubs, you can actually spend the yeah, green back. Even some schools. Told, I've not been told it's what I've seen. Yeah. That even, people are actually spending as a matter of fact, dollars. There are, there, be, because there, there are schools there here. There are schools. There are schools here uh, where, where you know. they do not even teach them arithmetic denominations in the Naira. They teach them in foreign currency. Yeah. I've not heard. Okay, uh, but but, but uh, 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 that's an important point. But teaching mm -hmm. is one thing. Yeah. Spending teaching the yeah. dollar, you, you can't spend the dollar, the dollar in, in Nigeria. No, no, no. Yori, mm. Let me say this: education is key to understanding finance. No, no, I perfectly yeah. understand. Yeah. And but if, the point, if from the point that level, about, the if point from about that level, being able to spend the dollar as easily as you spend the that naira, is what I'm saying. Don't forget that we is, can, is what I'm saying. That can't be true. In the la it no, is very no, true no, 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 because it, it, it is. It, it is. is. It is. It's very there, true. There, there are schools. There are schools that charge in dollar. There are schools. Even though such yeah, I mean, practices that, have been uh, declared illegal. Uh, Yori, let what? me tell you, you mentioned something you, nobody, started the you, I'm even surprised you, you, that yeah. schools are able, you know, okay, so I'm, I'm behind the curve. I'm surprised <laughs> that schools are, able, schools are able to send out a bill in dollars, which then becomes a public document. People are not afraid. Afraid you, you, of you, what? You, you, how you, how you, much of impact of correctional measures we have? You, don't forget that you quoted uh, the CBN governor himself, saying that policy formulation mm. is not our problem. Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, the implementation. You policy. understand? So the willpower to back up, you know, the, the policies. So I think the for me, um, talking about the challenge for him now, you know, after his reappointment, is for his, his, his ability to, you know, the willpower, you know, the enforcement of rules, the willpower to back up our policies. Well, I, I'm, I'm mm. guessing that there's a nod to what you are saying in mm. his quoted statement that mm. um, it's a tough road ahead. Um, he said it as a tough road ahead, but it's I a have tough to road say ahead. this, mm. I don't like when people say um, it's about the policy, we don't implement it. It mm. is simply because who are the drivers of the policy? The police that we have on the streets are an extension of the executive arm of government. Mm. But oftentimes you employ police officers because they don't have jobs or that they really need employment. No, you don't employ people to become police officers because they are jobless. Because they are jobless. You employ them because they are properly trained and have passion to fight crime. Because if you don't get such persons, you will definitely not achieve whatever aim you want to achieve. So if you get people to be the foot soldiers of the CBN, and they don't understand fiscal finance, they don't understand policies, then you don't have people who are also the implementers of the regulations who really will go to a place. If you say, close a bank, pick at a bank, you do that, you sanction them, and nobody is actually looked at until 
the money is paid, then people will wake up. So tell me why you'd have an economy where the Naira is preferred. As a matter of fact, well, where the it, 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 it's, it's in part uh, the need to engage you know, agency like the National Orientation Agency alongside the CBN to create a reconscientization of people into using the Naira and being part of the Naira. No matter how many Naira... Okay, look at in the US and in the UK, they still have the cents and the pence. Yeah. Why don't we have the cobble? We don't have the coins. We yet. don't have the coins anymore. People should not tell me that. Um, not it's at it's all. It's, 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 it's but when they there. travel abroad for summer, they take their coins they take everywhere. Their coins. It is ridiculous. It is therefore important. And there's, there's a part of this that you're blaming MFL for. No, no, MFL has to take the swag for that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, 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 let me bring in Mazi Okorua for a good morning, all the way in Abia State. Good morning, sir. Good morning, our guests in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Honestly, sir, if you see the CBN governor when he appeared on that day screening, which is encouraged, you will know that he had already shot past the exam because he prepared for it. <laughs> now, the question is, <laughs> the day came back, they applied. Well, 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 we have to say kudos to the Nigerian government with this uh, approval. We are moving forward. But the much I want the CBN to do that, they should look for find solutions to one, how to do what? Stop hunger or fight social dues up to poverty and illiteracy. That is three major things you have to go. When we talk about economy, 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 CBS should as much as possible. Monitor our banks. All these issues of ATM process, all these things, uh, uh, different types of uh, process come. It's too much in the banking industry. They at least, I should pray, I will pray that let them find the solution because it's getting out of proportion. Somebody will go to the ATM, will come back and start telling you stories. And it's getting to You put your ATM card before you know it says that ATM has swallowed the ATM. I wonder when ATM has turned to be another uh, another snake or Google. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day in Lagos. Thank you very much, Mazi. Mazi said something about bank. Only yesterday, only yesterday, and the day before yesterday, my friend's mother, my friend lives in the U.S. The mother's here. She's, I think, 78. She doesn't have an ATM. Many times she's to use the bank. She walks in. And somebody came into her account. Now, the younger brother is in the U.K. who is a signature to the bank recently. Because of fraud, she opened this account and keeps her hard-earned money there. The... Day before yesterday, somebody came there and withdrew 20,000 five times. Yesterday, got there again, withdrew 20,000 five times. And... What was said when the one in the UK called the bank was that uh, the person came to withdraw the money in your name. The person said, it is completely not possible. In fact, the bank teller was stuttering. And the person told me, this is an inside work. My, my position is, those are the kinds of things we believe that regulators mm. should ensure mm. that commercial mm. banks take mm. note of. Mm -hmm. How could somebody who is not a signatory bank say, he has come to withdraw? When the picture of the signatories are, are there... And somebody walks to the counter. That simply means even the inside systems itself really are flawed. And well, it is therefore important to do back-end checks and sanctions when okay. these things happen. Okay. Um, uh, let, uh, Isa in Joss, good morning. Uh, thank you for holding on. Yeah. Thank you, Uncle Yori. Thank you for the opportunity to hear my opinion this morning. Sure. Yeah. Uh, my... Two things as on the agency men on the press. Uh, concerning the reappointment of the CBM governor, yes. uh, purposely to maintain uh, his stability on policies and betterment of the country. Mm -hmm. But my question is that if for any reason the CBM governor decides to compromise his office or compromise his office, Will he be sacked despite the mandate given to him? Mm. And uh, 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 my last question is that why must it be the MFLA when we have people that are more competent than him? You look at people like Kingsley Mogadu and OBA Zekwesili. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for calling in, um, Isa. Um, well, you, you, I, I, maybe let me just mm. take one aspect of. Uh, he said, if he, if he were to compromise his office, was the way he yeah, put that it. Will he be sacked? I, I was. Oh. I wonder what that question means because um, I, I didn't quite understand it. Maybe does does it mean that 
he has a five-year term now. Yeah. Mm. Is it is it is it permanent? Is it is it that you know not, nothing can touch him for no, the no, five no, no, years? No, no, I don't think we a have such a public. Uh, we don't uh, have such a public servant um, that cannot, that be, cannot touched. be touched. touched. We do not have such. Sanusi was and touched, so, I mean, for goodness sake. <coughs> so, <laughs> we, there is no such, uh, there okay. is no such okay. public servant. Mm, mm, um, I think mm. that answers uh, the other thing this that, question. Okay. 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 The okay. other thing that uh, MFLA also brought out, which we've been hearing about, but he sort of you know, underlined it, was this whole matter of a population explosion yes. mm. um, that is confronting us. And so when he says things like um, tough times ahead, um, well, it, this is also part of it. Uh, you know why I was worried, Yori? Uh, it was worried mm. because uh, the population will grow. In this country, every 1.4 seconds, somebody gives birth. As of two years or three years ago in Medugo, it is still one woman to seven children. And that's for the record. So when we talk here about population growth, definitely you could see the way it is going. And um, his worry really is not about people giving birth. It is the fact that there is no infrastructure to cater to, 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 to the needs mm, of the mm, people you are giving mm, birth to. Mm, mm. After all, we are not as populous as China in excess of a billion. Mm -hmm. And about two, three years ago, they removed the one-child policy so that people can, in fact, come in uh, yeah. and have more younger population to work for the elderly citizens. So it is about creating infrastructure that will accommodate the population explosion. What is our GDP now? As a matter of fact, one second, please. One second, please. Okay. Uh, Garba uh, in Makrodi. Good morning. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Oguiori. Good morning, Good morning sir. Your guest, eh? Yes. You see, Oguiori, I have two questions to your panelists. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is CBN ever banned the use of coins? That's the question I would like to ask. That's the, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. That's it, eh? Thank I you. The CBN had they banned the use of coins. Oh, okay. I get the question. Then secondly, yes, okay. I would like the CBN governor to congratulate him once more. This show that he is competent and he is doing a good job. Yes. Which we expect him to do more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This commercial bank, to be honest, like mm -hmm. here I'm a victim of what they have done to me. I tried to lose to chat card through my bank. They debited me 1,000 dollars. I want to subscribe data. I went there, I paid for my people. It reached a state that I'm tired of that. Sometimes they would send SMS for you. Maintenance, whatever, whatever, not in study. When I went there and complain and complain, they would say, no, this and that, this and that, all this grammar. I would look at it and leave it for them. Yeah. Please, I urge the civilian government to try and check, met all those commercial banks. The way they are extorting their customers. Yeah. With notice at back, they would charge you 10 naira, 15 naira, and their first color said, Yahoo. Please, I'm calling on the CPO government <laughs> to do the need to in charge of that. Thank you very because much. Because they're short-changing the customer. Thank you. Have a nice day in Lagos. Mm. Appreciate your call. Thank you very much for calling that. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 he asked a very important question. Uh, 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 did, uh, did, the, did the CBN... Did the CBN, CBN actually ban coins? Uh, uh, you can see the import yeah, yeah. of the question. I want to add, did the CBN ban the use of 5 naira and 10 naira? Exactly. When people yeah. refuse to, to do transactions, ah. it will, be, it will uh, just uh, naturally so go out of circulation. So I think that, you see, we, the, the, the Nigerian populace itself has forced the CBN into accepting, you know, not producing <coughs> coins and... Um, Naira of, um, I mean, the, the um, lower denomination currency, five naira and ten naira. So because, because, because people, that, that, that's, that's, know, what, that's where the nothing, economy went. What? Uh, prices. Prices yeah. went in such that, mm. I don't know, you have a, what? You have a ten copper coin, right? Yeah, you have we, I, 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 sorry, I, I was going to... Ten, ten, ten copper, yes. Ten, yes, ten, you have a ten copper coin. coin. Let me see so this. you can't buy anything for ten copper. No, when last did you see a ten copper coin? Yeah. When last did well, you maybe, see maybe, one? Maybe at the big big places like uh, shopping malls, they, they have they it. Have they, 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 they have all those things. They have it. Because, they, because they, they like to price things, you know, something 99, 22, 9. So if you insist mm. that I will take my change, they will actually give it to you if you insist. Uh, but most people say, what am I going to uh, do with the cover? Do I, you know, what would I do with uh, the cover? So, so they go away. So, so, sorry, so it, I was going to... coming back to... <clears throat> maybe this conversation with, with the question that uh, Gadaba uh, asked, uh, isn't it point to the, pointing to the fact of inflation, what inflation has done, such that there's nothing 
there used to be bread, Toro. You know, mm. I mean, there were some things that you could do with a coin that would be meaningful. I don't know that there's... And in fact, it's gotten to... Be, uh, wait, wait a minute. The, I'm, I'm just reminded now. Some supermarkets, they can't give you your change. They say, will you take a sweet? No, they say, will you take... Will, yeah, will, yeah. will you take a sweet? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Is that yeah. legal? Is it legal to do that? <laughs> then there's the other one. Uh, we, we talked, you guys have said that I have seen it. You say dollars. Yes, of course. Oh, I, of have, course. I have oh, of course. seen that you have seen I've it. I've seen it, especially in yeah. clubs. I've seen that happen. Uh, even in our parties. Yeah, parties. People, people yes, spray dollars. They do that as well. Uh, uh, Dave in Abuja. Dave? James in Abuja. Good morning. Good morning, James. Good morning. <clears throat> Please go ahead. Good morning. Thank good you for morning. good morning. Thank you good for morning, calling Fiori, Good morning. Good morning, good morning mm -hmm. sir. Uh, thank you for what you are doing. I thank you for speaking about this bank today. I just want to give you my experience. Okay. Uh, okay, Yuri, I, I I have a current account in one of these commercial banks. They charge me one thousand naira plus monthly. At the point I complained, they said they would do something about it. They didn't do. They continue charging me one thousand naira. You know, I left this current account. I left them like that for more than two years. They they continue charging without me using the current account. They continue charging and putting my not something here. <laughs> Please, Uncle Yuri, speak up for us. See the CPA governor should do something. There okay. are many experiences we've had. Many of my friends today we left that bank. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for mm -hmm. calling in. Mm -hmm. That banks will sometimes charge and um, they will mm -hmm. actually leave you with a negative balance. It's possible. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I have experienced this. It's for, possible for to have, you have, to, not, uh, to have maybe 5,000 yeah. naira in an account and if you abandon it, so to speak, the bank will continue whittling it down mm -hmm. till it's gone. And you are saying... That's fraud. That's fraud. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be kept safely. Uh, if at all they are to do charges on it, it has to do when you do transactions. When you mm -hmm. do. So it's a situation where your money so, uh, should uh, be is there. Is this about and policy? Even, is this about policy? It's, it's, all, it's all about it, policy it, it, it for me. It goes back to it's, policy uh, because there are many, many aspects mm. of, of policy. Let me say this. Well, the fact that when people, I open some accounts, Yuri, I'm careful, see, no matter how tiny, I take my time painstakingly to read. Most mm. people do. At times, I ask the officer, mm. are there charges if I do this? Somebody will tell you no. The first one to do transaction, they hit you. That's, that's another problem. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, well, how, how do we, how do we all, deal with that? It's not always because I'm at times mm. when these people do these things, they go away with it because they get robbed <laughs> on the back of their palms. Mm -hmm. Nobody. There should be punitive measures, and that is what I'm telling you. For instance, a media mogul just returned from jail in the UK. He used he spent about forty-two or forty-eight months. If people at the highest of levels, in fact, a lawmaker in the US for I think child abuse. Also, when I'm saying that in this country, Yuri, since we return from democracy, I've only seen one big figure, a, a former top top uh, top um, person in the MPA gone yeah. to jail. I uh, well, we know we have two mm. former governors also uh, in jail uh, as we see. That is in jail. Silly, and, uh, so yeah. my concern is mm. let punitive measures okay. be meted out where necessary. Okay. Uh, last caller today, uh, Mr. Yewumi in the UK. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Uncle Yewumi. Thank you for calling in. Uh, uh, honestly, you are doing a very fantastic job. Oh, you're very kind. My observation from what you are saying and uh, what has been discussed by your father and those that have called to you is that if you critically analyze everybody that are calling, it's like there's a convergence of opinion about the charges yeah. that yeah. the banks are giving the, their customers. And is there any way you, as a citizen researcher or a journalist, that you can prepare a proposal to the new CB head government such that there will be a cap on the charges that the banks will be charging their customers? Mm. Say, for example, you reside abroad and you have to send money to 10 people in a day. That means the bank will be charging you 52 pounds each transaction. Is it not possible for home? Sorry, 52 naira for transaction. Is it not possible for each bank to put a limit to the amount they can charge people okay. per day? Mm. All right. So if you make 10 transactions, mm. mm -hmm. you only charge those accounts 100 naira per day. 
again, concerning the renomination of uh, Imefele, Imefele was not renominated based on competency or any other means. He was nominated to balance the equation. All and right, thank you very much. I really have to jump in now. Yes. Forgive me for doing so. We've completely run out of time, but delighted to um, have your call in uh, from, from mm. the UK. You know, uh, it's interesting because the program, this program mm. is being listened to. Yes, if yeah. not by the CBN governor himself, yeah. certainly by well, some so media so office really, and uh, he will be hearing about it. So we've got to go. So everything that was said has been heard yeah. and um, I, no doubt yeah. action will be taken. Yes, We've completely run out of time. I can't see more than yeah. thank you guys. Uh, yeah. Mr. Deni Ikunu. Thank you Ikunu. Yeah. Kunu. I got it wrong. You got Mr. it right. Mr. Debbie Kunu yes, and uh, Mr. Demola Adigoke. Thank Gentlemen, you very much. Thank you very much for sharing your perspectives. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, so that's our program. Please join us on Monday for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Folar and do have a great weekend. Bye-bye for now.